Hey everyone, and welcome to week number two of January. Today we're going to be talking about uh, self-control and losing self-control and how that can affect you. So stay tuned as we're going to go into the teaching video. I'm at a stop sign, a fork in the road Shaking my emotions, looking at my options Which way to go? It's a moment of decision, an opportunity To do what's right by you And what's best for me So maybe I will do just what I know that I should do Even when it isn't really what I'm wanting to I know there is a way that I can honor you And so I'm gonna do just what I know that I should do I'm gonna look and I'm gonna listen and make a good decision. Yeah, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna look and I'm gonna listen. Yeah, and make a good decision. So maybe I will do just what I know that I should do, even when it isn't really. I know there is a way that I can honor you So I'm gonna do just what I know that I should do So maybe I will do just what I know that I should do Even when it isn't really what I'm wanting to I know there is a way that I can honor you And so I'm gonna do just what What are you doing, John? I'm practicing self-control. By holding your breath? That's right, Brandon. The human body is a very sophisticated creation. It does things automatically outside of our control. You know, like blinking and breathing. We don't control that stuff. That's true. Until now. Are you trying to kill me? No, you you were breathing through your nose. I was just trying to help. Don't you think I know when I'm holding my breath? I, oh, you just blinked. What? Oh, no! No! Lamb! No! no! 
self-control. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. Oh, and I'm John, and this is the So and So Show. And this is the So and So Show Universal Remote. Oh yeah, I love this thing. We uh, we just got it recently, so still figuring out all the controls. Oh, thanks. So, oh, let me try. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Brandon. Yes, John. Tell me a story. A story? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So yesterday, I left the house without a coat, mm -hmm. and it was so cold outside that I had these these goosebumps all over. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Let's see if we can change the channel, shall we? I'm telling you, I was colder than a wild Bessie stuck in five feet of snow. I took off down the street, lickety split, running so fast my boots could barely keep up with me. <laughs> really? True as a trusty steed. Well, that felt weird. Oh. My turn. Uh, what what button was that? I just uh, changed the channel. As you can see, the weather today is looking weatherly. We have temperature here, temperature here, some arrows coming across the country. Nothing exciting, nothing you can't figure out by stepping outside yourself. <gasps> Back to you, Joan. Now we gotta stay real quiet so we don't scare them off. Elk can get real skittish. So we've got to keep them calm with the official elk call. Join in with me. Moo! Lou! Lou! Oh! Lou! <laughs> it's time to play Fanny Pack Friend! I love chili running through my system, yeah. Love Day's game is a nail biter. Fans across the world. Oh, can this be? It's not over until I sing. I think we all learned a valuable lesson today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and now you mix it all together. Eh? Eh? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I, I may have gotten a little carried away. Eh, está bien, Brandon. Pasen las mejores familias. Ay, santos cielos, ¿por qué estoy hablando en español? I, I don't understand you. You're speaking in Spanish. Brandon, tienes que arreglar esto ahora. I, I, okay, I, I don't know. Let me try this one. Oh. No puedo creer que hicieras tan gran error. Whew, I did it. You're back to normal. You are back to normal, right? Sí. Oh, boy. Hora de historias bíblicas con Kellen. guys. Hola, Kellen. Um, hola to you, too. What wise thing do you want to teach us today, Kellen? That's a very appropriate question, because today we're looking at a verse written by one of the wisest men ever, King Solomon. Bring on the Proverbs. You bet. Solomon wrote many of the sayings written down in the book of Proverbs, and the verse we're looking at today comes from... I don't seize it. Um, hi, Horvath. I don't seize it. See what? Right, the verses! You said we're looking at the verses, but I see nothing! Oh yeah, I just meant we're going to be talking about a verse. Proverbs 25, 28. Oh! Let's just read the verse, shall we? Yes, I will help. All right. I am Horvath, and I am an expert in combining the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger! That's right! Let's do this! In Proverbs 25, 28, Solomon wrote, a person without self-control. That's easy! Oh, great. A person without self-control is like a city whose walls are broken through. Uh, stop! 
fist exercise. Okay, wave your arms and your head and your hips around like this. Whoa. Then drop your arms so sad like a wall fell down. I call this no control, no wall. We do this 43 times. Go, one, 18, platypus, figure skater, 79 and three quarters, 43. Oh, oh, are you okay, Horvath? No controls, no funds. Oh. oh, um, let me help you. No! Oh, okay. So what Solomon wrote and what Horvath demonstrated is that self-control is really important. Back in the Old Testament times, cities were protected from danger by walls around them. So when we have self-control, it's like we've built a wall that can keep us strong and safe. Stop! Second exercise! Show off our muscles like this. Nice and strong. Then give yourself a big hug. I call this strong and safe. We do it 77 times. Go. 14. Ooh. Copper pennies. Ooh. 35. Ooh. Turtleneck sweaters. Ooh. Chocolate bunnies. Uh, uh, 77, great jobs, great jobs. Look at those muscles, they're getting smarter. Oh, thanks. That's what it's like with self-control. But without self-control, it's easy for us to fall into things that are not good for us, like lying or being mean or eating too much junk food. Stop, that exercise. I call this the junk food jimmies. We put the foods in our mouths as fast as possible. Ah, and then we have the sad stomach aches. <laughs> we do this 122 times. Goes. Ah, oh, one. Ah, 12. Ah, tiger lilies. Ah, hacky sack. Ah, 99. Ha! Regis Philbin. Ha! 122s. Whoa. I think I ate too much, Kellen. Oh, but you didn't actually. Self controls is really important, right, Kellen? Um, ah. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, what if I don't have it? I'm, I'm feeling nervous. Oh, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Later in the Bible, a Jesus follower named Paul describes self-control as a fruit of the Spirit, which means you're not on your own. When you follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit can help you have self-control. Oh, final exercise. Okay, bring your hands together like you are praying and do a squat. Uh -huh. And then you come up and put your hands on your hips. Boom because now you're so confident and in control. I call this the prayer squatties. Okay, we do this 300 times, all right? Go! Ooh. Ah, 18. Cauliflower pizza. Ooh. Uh, 92s. Ooh. Mediocre sushis. Ooh. Spanks. Ooh. Puff a fish. Oh, 300, yeah. Well, thank you, Horvath. That was really helpful. Yay. I helped the one and only Kellens. This guy right here, it's Kellen. I'm like a city with a big, strong, awesome wall that never breaks and only ever gets pooped on by pigeons occasionally. Yay. Once again, that verse is, a person without self-control is like a city whose walls are broken through. Having self-control can keep you safe, but when you lose control, it can cause trouble. Y que lo digas, Kellen. Tell me about it. I lost control with our universal remote, and now John can only speak Spanish. Oh, have you tried the SAP button? The what? The SAP button. It's the button that changes what language you're listening to. Oh. 
Did that do anything? I don't feel any different. Hey, hey! it worked! Thanks, Kellen! Yeah, and gracias for the story. No problemo, amigos. Adios. So it's really important to have self-control. Yeah, and not other people control. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. Yeah, I forgive you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what else this thing can do. Uh -huh. Reveal the question! When do you lose control? Great question. Now, none of us are perfect at being in control of ourselves all the time, so it helps to be aware of when we tend to lose control. Yeah, you might lose control when you're playing a competitive game mm -hmm. or when someone in your family does something that annoys you. Or maybe when you're really hungry. I usually lose control when I'm hungry. Do you have any butter? No. Whatever it is for you, remember you can choose to have self-control. Yeah, think about it. Talk to a friend about it. And we will see you next time. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the so-and-so show. Yes. Why would you ask if I had any butter? Who has butter? Hmm. Here's a button labeled random costumes we have in storage. I wonder what it does. I would rather not find. Welcome. Where are you from? 1920. You missed the sleeves. You missed the sleeves. Ah. We meet again, Lego. Yes, toe. And I'm foot. a foot! Oh. Say ah. Uh. Say ah. Uh, uh. mm. <laughs> uh, you look funny. You're under arrest, mister. Yeah, for what? Bowling without a license. That's three strikes. You know what three strikes is, don't you? Turkey! That's right. <laughs> 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 Well, welcome back. I really hope you enjoyed that video. You know, it's sometimes self-control is really difficult to do. Think of something like there's a cookie jar on your counter and you're like, I really want to eat those cookies. And your mom and dad are off in another room doing something else, so they won't know if you eat them all. It is requiring every single last bit of self-control you have in your body not to just munch on all of those cookies all at once. But think of the consequences of losing that self-control. Think about how your stomach might feel after you're done eating all those cookies. It's probably not that good. And think about how much trouble you might get into when your mom or dad finds that all the cookies are missing. Our bottom line says, when you lose control, it can cause trouble. So, a little personal reflection for you. What are some things that make you lose control? Okay guys, that is it for week two of January. I hope to see you again very soon. See you guys later.